Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Chemphili. I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma, a retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG College for Women, Hyderabad. Using the platform Chemphili, I am going to teach different topics from all branches of chemistry by adopting a self-designed innovative teaching methodology that is teaching chemistry through reading. In this video number 10, I am going to discuss the mechanism and silent features of two reactions from carbohydrate chapter. Hope students will enjoy. Now here is riddle number 10. Compounds X and Y are twin brothers. Both have open as well as six-membered ring structure and optical activity. One can be transformed to other through a well-known chemical reaction. Both have four asymmetric carbon atoms among which only one has different configuration in each of them and that is responsible for their distinct identity. The position of this carbon atom in their structure is such that both of them can form a yellow derivative of same structure with phenyl hydrazine. So this is riddle number 10. Now the questions are. The primary question is identify X and Y. The other questions are number two, what is that well-known chemical reaction by which one can be transformed to other? Number three, mention the position of that asymmetric carbon atom which has different configuration in chemicals X and Y. Number four, what is the name of the yellow derivative given by both of them? Why the structure of yellow derivative is same for both of them? Now guess the answer for primary question. The primary question is identify X and Y. And the answer is glucose and mannose. This riddle is framed to explain this epimers, epimerization and osagen formation reaction. Now what is epimers? See this is glucose molecule and this is mannose molecule. Both of them have same molecular formula and in both the molecule one terminal position aldehyde group is there, other terminal position primary alcohol group is there and there are four asymmetric carbon atoms. Now these two molecules differ by only at the configuration of this second asymmetric carbon atoms and they are epimers. So what are epimers? The diastereoisomers which uh, differ in the configuration of uh, only C2 carbon atoms are known as the epimers. C2 carbon atoms are alpha carbon atoms. So, glucose and mannose are epimers. Now, coming to epimerization reaction. This is the process or reaction by which configuration of only one asymmetric carbon atom can be changed in a compound which contains more than one asymmetric carbon atom without altering any change in the remaining part that is called epimerization. So this is glucose molecules and through this series of reaction, glucose is converted to mannose. That is D plus glucose is converted to mannose by which only the configuration of alpha carbon atom or C2 carbon atom is changed. So this process of reactions is known as epimerization. Now, from glucose, when it is treated with bromine water, aqueous solution of bromine, then it is oxidized to gluconic acid. On treatment with pyridine, this configuration of alpha carbon atom or second carbon atom is changed. Then it is heated whereby dehydration occurs and gamma lactone is formed. The gamma lactone, when it is reduced by sodium amalgam carbon dioxide, then Mannose is formed which differ only at the configuration of second carbon atom or alpha carbon atom. An entire process is epimerization. Coming to osagen formation reaction or 
reaction with phenyl hydrazine the carbohydrate like glucose mannose and fructose when treated with limited amount of phenyl hydrazine then hydrazone derivative is formed but when they react with excess phenyl hydrazine the reaction is complicated and 3 moles of phenyl hydrazine are consumed for each mole of glucose to form a glucosazone if we consider the glucose molecule and osazone is a yellow crystalline solid which contain two phenyl hydrazine residue per molecule then this is osazone this is glucose molecule d plus glucose and this is mannose both of them when treated with same uh, this phenyl hydrazine then they form the same osazone osazone formation reaction is given by all alpha hydroxyl carbonyl compounds which may or may not be carbohydrate now the mechanism so this is the glucose molecule now when it is treated with phenyl hydrazine that is derivative of ammonia then a condensation reaction occurs to form phenyl hydrazone derivative we know carbonyl compound when they are treated to it derivative of ammonia then a condensation reaction takes place by which uh, this what happens see this uh, oxygen atom of this aldehyde group reacts with uh, or takes this two hydrogen atom from phenyl hydrazine and removed as water and finally this uh, hydrazone derivative is formed now this hydrazone derivative undergoes a rearrangement known as amadori rearrangement by which a hydrogen bonded intermediate is formed what is the rearrangement this carbon hydrogen bonds breaks down and here a carbon carbon double bond is formed and this pi bonded electron shifted to nitrogen and this h plus goes to nitrogen and finally you'll get this intermediate which is stabilized by hydrogen bonding now from this intermediate one molecule of aniline is removed to form the amino ketone and this amino ketone when reacts with excess phenyl hydrazine finally it forms this osazone from glucose this is glucosazone and glucose and mannose differ only in the configuration of second carbon atom the configuration of other carbon atoms in these two molecules are same and since the osazone formation reaction involves only the first and second carbon atom both glucose and mannose give the same osazone moreover after the osazone formation this molecule is stabilized by chelation so the osazone formation reaction does not proceed further after the second carbon atom the failure to undergo further reaction has been explained by stabilization of the osazone by chelation now answer some the remaining question question number 2 what is that well known chemical reaction by which one can be transformed to other the answer is epimerization reaction number 3 mention the position of that asymmetric carbon atom which has different configuration in chemicals x and y the answer is second position or alpha position number 4 what is the name of the yellow derivative given by both of them why the structure of yellow derivative is same for both of them answer is osazone derivative glucose and mannose differ only in the configuration of second carbon atom and since osazone formation reaction involves only the first and second carbon atoms both glucose and mannose give the same osazone so this was riddle number 10 how do you find this video please write your comments about this video in the comment box link of my previous videos on riddles in chemistry or on teaching chemistry through riddles is given in the description box Watch those videos if you are yet to watch them.